Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. It has been a long time since I've posted a video and today I've just decided that I'm going to share my thoughts on Bitcoin. You have to be living under a rock if you have not heard about Bitcoin because it is the new phenomena, the new sem sensation that is taking the world by storm. People are making crazy money from cryptocurrencies and especially Bitcoin. But I want to just um, share a word with us um, and share my thoughts with you. And I, um, you know, I know I have to be careful what I say because I'm not a financial advisor or anything like that. But let me just say this, that um, those of you who are investing in Bitcoin, um, I would I'd strongly advise you to take your money and run, make as much as you can and run with it when you can, take as much profit as you can. Um, Bitcoin is basically a competition against the establishment, the government, and I want to use the analogy um, of the devil <laughs> and God. Now, according to the Bible, there was war in heaven, eh? And it says that the dragon fought against God and God fought back against the devil and his angels. What were they fighting over? It was over power. Power. And let me tell you something, it's the hardest thing. Nobody's going to give up their power. God never give up his power and Satan never want to give up his power. So there had to be a battle. The point I'm making is, if we believe that the government of this world is going to just, oh, well, they, 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 they are going around us. With, there's nothing we can do. We just got to leave them. You guys, <laughs> you're making a sad, sad mistake. Because the government is planning on taking measures to curtail Bitcoin. And you will see what I mean. Don't believe that they are going to just surrender their power. No one surrenders power like that. No, if you look back in history, people would rather die than give up power. So they will come back fighting. So even as I speak, it is causing a lot of concern to the government because indeed it's a fight against the government and a fight against the big banks and the establishment. So what do you think? You think they're going to just lay down and fold their arms and say, oh, we have lost the battle? You've got to be kidding to even think that. The government is going to put measures in place that will make Bitcoin null and void. Te I tell you that. Yeah? And that's why I'm not telling you not to invest in it. I'm saying if you're investing it, you better in it, you better grab what you can and run. Because soon and very soon, they will put a dent and make Bitcoin become a thing of the past. And no amount of blockchain technology will stop a government from doing what they can to retain their power. So we can always fool ourselves and kid ourselves and think that the government is going to just sit back and relax and allow a set of people to seize and take and control of power out of their hands. You see, money you and I know is power. And whenever you take away the money, you take away the power. And that's what Bitcoin is doing, taking away the power that is supposed to be residing in the government. So they're not going to just leave this thing alone. They are very, very, very much watching Bitcoin. And they are very much planning on how, what they can do. To make Bitcoin become null and void. Take it from me. I know what I'm talking about. You are good. And watch what you're doing. 
because the government is like God. They are watching and they are observing what is happening and they are losing power and they are not going to sit down and take it. You take care and think on these things. Bye-bye.